welcome back to the Acoustic Music Workshop. My name's Edis and in this short video I'm going to show you about the optimum guitar playing position. I'll talk about how to achieve it, why it's important and a few things that could go wrong along the way. I'll be showing you the sitting position I use. It's the classical sitting position and it stood the test of time for hundreds of years so it really must have something going for it. It's very important in that it gives you access to all areas of the guitar and it will make your playing easier and more enjoyable. First of all we've set the footstool up exactly as in the video on the footstool. Take your guitar and wrap the waist of the guitar around your le left thigh, like so. It should then pivot smoothly around. Then push it down into the V and rest it onto your front. The final point of contact comes from the right arm. Think of a spot about four centimeters up from the elbow to keep you well away from the nerve and place that on the high point of this waist like so. That should bring your nicely curled fingers directly over the sound hole. The left hand now plays no part whatsoever in holding or supporting the guitar. This gives it the ultimate freedom to move across all six strings and all the way up and down the fretboard, like so. Sometimes you feel you want to see the strings more clearly and in an attempt to do so the guitar can slide down without you even realising it. Sometimes even into the Hawaiian position. So try to avoid that at all costs and keep it absolutely vertical. One final thing I'd like to mention is the critical importance of sitting absolutely up straight. It does mean that you can't see the guitar and you have to do things by feel and touch. But any attempt to look down at the strings like so will completely distort the guitar position and take it away from the optimum. In this video we've talked about the classical guitar seating and holding position. We've talked about how important it is to your success and the enjoyment of your playing how it stood the test of time for several hundred years and a step-by-step -step guide of how to achieve it along with a couple of things to watch out for to keep you on track because sometimes things can get away from you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.